Hello everyone, welcome to Wall Street Mojo and to know more about this video row function in Excel, watch the video till the end and if you are new to this channel, then you can subscribe us by clicking the bell icon that's given below. Hello everyone, welcome. Today we are going to look at a function that's a lookup and a reference function in Excel. Well, to begin with, we'll get with some of the nitty gritties of this particular topic. See, row in Excel basically, it returns uh, the first row number within its in a supplied reference or if no reference is applied the row function excel returns the number of the current row in current active cells spreadsheet so the row function is a built-in excel function which is categorized as lookup or probably uh, what we call as the reference function and the row function in excel always is on results to a positive uh, numerical value now what is the formula the formula is equal to row is equal to and reference is the argument that is accepted by the row formula excel which is a cell or a range of cells for which we want a row number so the argument value is nothing the cell formula is three so you know, we we will understand this in detailed uh, way well to start with we are going to you know learn how to use the row function in uh, excel now the row function in excel is very simple and easy to use let's understand the working of the row in excel by some examples well we'll take example number one if we write a row raw formula excel let's say in the third row okay in any cell it will return to the number three okay let's just write row it will see it returns to 8 here let's write the row here it says 2 it's a second row well as you can see in here we have written the row function in cell I'll take from A just write row here and drag it down so it will give us different rows that we have okay and uh, it returns to the number three and if we end up writing the row formula excel anywhere else in another cell suppose in cell uh, let's say over here i'll write row here in, in the last one it will say you look at the number exactly that was going to show us well uh, when we give an input or a reference to the row in excel for example if we give an input to that that one it will return to the row number one zero four eight five seven six as an output because we are referring to this particular row right now we can use the excel row function in multiple ways it's possible now let's check out the application of the row function in excel i will take an example number two here something different than what we were doing it before suppose if you want to generate a serial number starting from one and to any number okay any cell and their adjacent cell downwards suppose starting from cell d4 and i want to generate a serial number one two three four and so on we'll use a row in excel in d4 and we'll write the row function that is is equal to row four right so now we will drag this down Control d and you see we have the answer till d15 and we get all the row numbers starting from the row 4 to the number 15. Now if we want uh, the series starting from 1, we have to subtract the row number just above the cell uh, from where we are starting the series. So we will subtract row number 3 from each number. We are going to subtract. So if we want a series starting from 1, we have to subtract the row number just above the cell from where we are starting the series. So you will subtract row number three from each row to get the desired output. So how we are going to do? This is row minus use another row function. Okay. And the reference is going to be D3. Okay. This one. And we are going to fix this completely. Just to talk this. Control C and then Control Alt V. Just copy the formulas. So this is how the whole set of rows will be displayed here. 
We'll take example number three, another example of row function Excel. Suppose we have a list of names in a column and we want to highlight those names that are in the even rows that we want to highlight those names that like row two, four, six, eight, and so on. So we have the list of names in column A, name one, name two, name three, and so on and so forth. So you can see the below in the image we have used the row in Excel. In the previous Excel now function applicable example to generate the list of names in starting cell A2 to a21 and now using the row function in excel we have to highlight those names in the list that are even rows so we have highlight names in cells a to a4 a6 to a20 okay well how you are going to use this formula for the same you will have to start with is equal to say in a comma always if you want to write anything it has to be an apostrophe is name and then use and function in the same another apostrophe then another to start with another end okay use the row function inside this okay close the bracket less i told you before let's fix something so we'll fix a1 f4 close the bracket we'll see name one and so on and so forth right so in this case we will be using the conditional formatting to achieve the, this kind of task and apart from this excel now function we're using another function named eve number and row in excel returns to a round positive number up and negative number down to the nearest even integer so to format even the rows only we'll use the conditional formula and the formula is uh, something like this is equal to even number in that row close the bracket is equal to row close the bracket okay so we'll select the entire row that we want in the formula you need to select the entire row here okay and then you can click the conditional formatting drop down in the style group okay uh if you see in the conditional formatting if you go down okay it, there is a drop down list as you can see now in that just use new rule okay from select the new rule type choose use a formula to determine which cell to format now once you're done with that in the format values where is the formula is a true field enter is equal to uh here is equal to even row open row okay open and close then close okay once you're done with this is equal to row open and close the bracket so specify any of the valuable format for instance to state all the rows red click and click the fill tab okay so if you want you know all the rows you you can change the number font border or if you want to fill i'll say yellow and okay see all the other way you know it in in the same way it has got yellowed so name one two so we can specify the row also that are even and odd and using even and odd row and if function <laughs> this works like this and if even of the row is equal to the row number then prints even and else if it is odd or row equal of the row number then the print old so this row even goes like this right so if you want uh, an odd and even it's a long formula to be formatted here well uh, i hope you have got a fantastic idea by for now what exactly is going now uh, before we end up this topic i want you to remember few things well if we are taking the input references as a range of the cells excel row function returns the row number of the topmost okay it returns to the topmost rows in the specified range like for example if is equal to row uh, d4 to g9 then excel row function will return to 4 and as the topmost row as d4 which the row number is four so even the row function accepts only one input so we cannot refer to multiple references or addresses 
And if the reference is entered in any array, then row in Excel returns to the row number of all the rows in that particular array. Well, that is it. If you have learned and enjoyed watching this video, please like, comment on this video and subscribe to our channel for all the latest updates. Thank you everyone once again.